particular app you can go to the app store and you can actually search for something like say open source physics at Singapore and it will be able to bring you to this particular app which then uh, because I've already pre-installed it so it will uh, allow me to just open it so you can click open and you can see that the simulation launches first uh, and it allows you to look at the the physics of the gravity of the earth move earth moon and sun system so you can actually drag on the particular moon to orientate the simulation so the very first thing that we would like to impress the students upon is how gravity is a force that is evident in our, in our everyday life and it plays a crucial role in the many processes on earth so for instance the ocean tides are caused by gravitational attraction of both the sun moon and the earth so this causes certain uh, bulging of the sea tides and according to this model you can actually see and when you click play you can actually see how the bulge of the sea levels actually changes ac across the course of the time when the moon actually moves around the earth as you can see from the simulation when the earth is when the moon is at this particular orientation it will be actually uh, creating a bulge the forces of attraction will cause the sea level to move towards the moon because of the gravitational pull of the moon now at the same time the sun is uh, around at this corner which you can see from the indication of the sunlight the sun is actually create uh, causing uh, attractive force that is always acting uh, along this direction and it causes the bulge of the sea level to actually uh, move out in that particular way and uh, let me see whether I can do a multi-touch so you can see actually this will actually cause the sea level to move this way whereas the moon will cause the sea level to bulge in this way so this actually causes a resultant bulge which is quite uniformly uh, spread out and if I continue to play the simulation you can see that the man turns red and green indicating at this particular part, point in time the green shows that you can see the moon while the red means you can't but you can see that as you let's say I'm going to pause the simulation here at an appropriate time you can see that uh, okay so let's say here the man will be experiencing somewhat of a high tide at this point because the bulge of the sea is uh, nearer to the man whereas when this man is around let me try to pause it uh, here uh, so you may find that the step function could be useful oh does the step work okay yeah, it seems to step twice okay so when you step here so somewhere around here this is where according to the model the computer model it predicts that the sea level will be low so this is one of the cool things that you can do with this particular simulation and some of the more interesting things that you can explore on your own is the simulation always come with a top left corner that indicates to you what you should do so in this case it says to select the options and click play to simulate mm, okay and it also tells you at real time that it is actually simulating in playing and you can also see that at the bottom right corner there's this indication of the uh, span of time and able to scroll and able to look at the other options so let's say you want to look at both, both. and you can see that the simulation can actually show you both the world view as well as the scientific graph view. So this blue line indicates the rise and fall of the sea level due to the sun and moon gravitational pull on earth at the point of the human, the little red icon here, uh, position. So if I were to look at, let this run is it a buck? Oh, it seems to have hang. Okay. Wow. Okay. So the the simulation when it hangs, uh, you may want to come and turn on and and enter it again. You can see that the sim now works again. So let's me let me go back to the both. both. And you can see now that in this particular simulation, this shows the rise and fall of the sea level 
as a result of both the sun and the moon. Whereas if I were to indicate that, let's let see, only, only those due to the sun. Y versus T due to sun. And you can see that the sun's gravitational pull on the sea level at the position of the man is relatively flat because uh, it's a rise and fall uh, indicating that it is roughly the same. And now how about the moon? So let's choose the, the Y versus T due to moon. Y versus T due to moon. And you can see that the, the orange line and the gray line actually results in a blue line which actually shows you how through the course of time the sea level actually does uh, rise and fall according to the seasons that we know uh, of the moon uh, over the course of 28 days or thereabout. Now with this little short tutorial I hope to have uh, impressed upon you that gravity does indeed play a, crit a critical role in our daily lives. Thank you for watching this video.